solve the following exponential equations by inspection or trial and error. 5 to the x is equal to 125. So you just need to ask yourself what value of x would make this true? 5 to what power is equal to 125? Well I know that 5 to the first is 5 and 5 to the second is 25 and 5 to the third is 125. So therefore x is equal to 3. Exercise B. 4 to the x is 16,384. Now this one's a little bit tougher. So we could try for a while and say, okay, well I know that 4 to the first is 4, 4 to the second is 16, 4 to the third is 64, and then you, know, you might get stuck, you know, it depends on how well you know your multiplication. So let's go to a calculator for this one. All right, so remember we're trying to solve, you know, 4 to the x is equal to 16,384. So you then say, okay, well what's 4 to the fourth? Okay, how about 4 to the fifth? How about 4 to the sixth? How about 4 to the seventh? All right, so I find that 4 to the seventh is 16,384. So therefore, my solution of the equation is x equals 7. One over one hundred is equal to ten to the t. Well, so ten to what power gives me a one over one hundred? Well, I remember that you know ten to the first is ten, and ten to the second is equal to one hundred. So we might be tempted to say two, but it doesn't ask us for a hundred. It asks us for one over one hundred. So recall your rules for negative exponents tell you that a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So therefore 10 to the negative first is 1 over 10 to the first, which is 1 over 10. And 10 to the negative second is 1 over 10 to the second, which is 1 over 100. All right, so that's the one that we want. And so then our solution of the equation is t is equal to negative 2. 3 to the a is equal to 1 27th. Well, I know that 3 to the first is 3, 3 to the second is 9, and 3 to the third is 27. So therefore, 3 to the negative third is 1 over 3 to the third is 1 over 27. And so therefore, my solution of the equation is a equals negative 3.